the election battle heats up, apparently, oh. because there's no other news. They've gone, there's an election in six months. And uh, <laughs> that's one of the... So even, like, the Lib Dems have had to come up with proper policies, you know, cos when, <laughs> when you've got no chance of winning, you can basically say what you want, can't you? So for, for ages, they'd be going, yeah, Jaffa Cakes will be one of your five a day and everyone can have a rope slide to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Who's your money on in the election, Faye? I'm, I'm very much enjoying the idea that um, the Labour Party are giving voters presents if they vote for them. I, they've said that they'll give poor people laptops. <laughs> which is very nice. Is he going to give them wheeze as well, maybe? Some um, chocolate? Um, give everyone well, a little bit of chocolate. I'll just give you a little bit of chocolate if you vote for he me. He might empty their bins. Um, <laughs> Gordon Brown got a laugh in Parliament this week. He got a laugh. This is the easiest gig you've ever seen, right? He basically said that um, Hewitt and... Hewn and Hewitt, right? Hewn and Hewitt. Uh, he was going to put them down a salt mine. Yeah, I know. That was the gag, right? <laughs> he says he's going to put them down a salt mine for what they've done in last week. And it got a laugh. I was like, they're laughing at that shit. <laughs> they should watch an episode of You've Been Framed. They'll have an heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether the election is one of the most talked about things this week. The nation's been talking about the imminent election. This week, Brown told backbenchers, I'm not our team, I'm one of the team. And remember, Gordon, there's no I in team. Or in your left socket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean, uh, Josie and Faye, what else have the nation been talking about? What have they been talking about, girls? I um, uh, don't know why I put that voice on now. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity Big Brothers. Really? Did you watch that? No. I don't have time. I do not have time in my life for CBB. The CBBC, yes. CBB, no time. <laughs> there was a really sinister bit with um, Base Hunter the other night where he was sat there and, and, the, and there's been obviously a thing between him and Katia and uh, she went, oh, wouldn't it be really funny if we still were, like, lying together in the same bed and then we got tucked in by uh, Stephanie and he, and he went... And nobody does this in real life. He said... Yes, that would be funny. And then she walked out and then, to himself, just went, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a bad guy in a bottle. <laughs> I love the fact that Katia has gone from Ronnie Wood to Bass Hunter as well. It's like such a musical downgrade. <laughs> She's seen Ronnie Wood naked. That can't be nice. I imagine it's like him <laughs> naked. It's like, you know, like if you have a box of KFC after you've thrown the bones back in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether the Big Brother is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> yes, Celebrity Big Brother continues. This week, Katia, Heidi and Lady Sovereign were all up for eviction. And it was difficult to know who to choose, but I think I'd have to say, kill Heidi, shag Katia and marry Lady Sovereign. <laughs> <laughs> 